All right, so um, like we all talked about, like I said uh, towards the beginning, um, I want to talk about raid rules. Um, I don't. I'm not talking about. It's not really restrictions. Just things that we all assume how it used to be. How all of us, like all the people who've been here for a long time, when we join in on raids, we expect things. And when I mean expect things, I expect to if I get kicked if I get kicked from the game, then that means my clan wins. Like that. Everybody accepts that as general yeah, things, though. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. When I'm talking about permanent raid rules. That's what I'm talking about. Like, those rules that we all know and love. But besides those permanent raid rules, I want those to only be the only rules. I don't want any of these restrictions. Oh, because I have one, just like Savage said, oh, because I have one more sniper than what you like, you're going to call a raid win. That is bullshit. If you, can, I, you can spawn kill. You can have as many snipers as you want. You can have golf hogs, fucking trip mines right when I spawn. I don't give a fuck. It's a raid. You're trying to take my base. If you want to take my base, I'm going to put you through hell. And that's what I'm talking about. I want to... Uh, you. That, uh, come that, on that's now. what I'm talking about. Those, those, are, those are raids. When, Agree. When, when I was I in... agree with you so much. Yeah, when, yeah. When, I, when, I was in the, when I was in the UF, when I first joined the UF, and Strike was leader, Smash was the general of the Marine Corps, we... <laughs> we <laughs> We did, when we did raids, they were raids. Like, they were legit ass raids. Like, he had to fight through hell to fucking take a base. Like, and that's the whole point, because that's what it's worth. Like, you have to go through hell to take a base because it's, it means so much when you finally do. It, and I'm tired of all these new clans that just because they can't contend with us, they want to start all these fucking restrictions to make it so they can win. And that's not the case. That shouldn't be the case. That shouldn't be the case for anyone. It's not fair. So, what I wanted to talk about is if everyone is okay with it being like that. If if we can go back to these so-called 2010 rules. rules. Exactly. If we can go back, if we all can agree on having these 2010 raid rules. And I mean, no time limits. No... You can well, well, basically well, the well, bare minimum rules is what he's getting at. If for those well, who want to, I, I, well, well, the actual rules. Hold on, hold on, hold on now, real quick. Again, I agree. Uh, Divine, as a matter of fact, like I said, the UNR, UHR, and UUS were inspired me to create my clan. I was like, oh man, dude, I think like this guy's like talking about his military and shit, showing how they're going into combat and shit. Oh man, it was so epic. That look at how sick that looks, dude. More to hate is it's like more of a feel when you take the base and like when you're going up against such an odd and you conquer it. It's like, dude, holy shit, we went through all that and we emerged victorious. We are truly something great. But my problem is with all these three, like, come on, like having a million snipers, freaking landmines are one thing, traps for a base, <laughs> like base <laughs> self defense, all that. Like that's game. Like the crank community nowadays rely on two things. Base self security and the game's technology. As for if a base can defend itself with literally one person in it, then you know it's overpowered. If you know, the freaking. I, I mean, I was, anybody. I, if I, I, don't to, can handle I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I don't mean to interrupt you, but two things. It all of us will kind of assume that we will have respect in like okay, say, let's say a base is in the middle of smack in the middle of hemorrhage. If if you make it so they, if you make it so they spawn right in front of the base, obviously that's not fair because you can easily spawn to kill them. But I'm saying if you okay. make it so they spawn, if they if they spawn in big cave, then you at least let them run for a little bit to get to the base. That it's kind of just that assumed respect, like that yeah. kind of thing. And then the second thing, I was gonna agree a new thing to because back in 2010 there weren't all these crazy ass mods that there are nowadays. No mods at all. Like, well, I think lag. I the one thing I have to say, modded falcon and stuff for aesthetics, but modded falcon gun cannot be used. And if yeah. the other clan uses it, if one clan uses it, then both then both clans are eligible to use it. Yeah, yeah. Only yeah. That, 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 yeah. That, yeah. What's up, boy? Um, for example, on my capital, like I have, I have two game types. I got a training game type, and then I got the raid game type. The raid game type is a normal Slayer game type. And then my training game time, we like to do ODSG drops, stuff like that, make it fun shit, you know what I'm saying? And we use, we do use mods, alright? I've had clans come in and be like, oh, you got mods, like, they're rating me and shit. 
And we're always getting lost, so we win. But, yeah, that, see, that's yeah. clan. Okay. Hold on, Blade. Dark Blade and Single Needs before you go. See, that's one thing. Like, the clan that currently we're, I guess, are in, back into a Cold War with the ASM. They they play by their own set of rules, and they basically, no matter what, they disregard everybody else's rules. And they say, well, we win because this. I mean, like, as we all know, the, as everybody has come to accept nowadays, after twenty after 2012, the attackers can spawn kill. And only the attackers can. Well, ASM, nobody can spawn kill. You can't detain people and spawn. You have to let them run. And they ended the game on us because of that, and it's on YouTube, and we consider that a win because they ended the game. But my whole point is, okay. though, if someone raids your base, they would, like, like a surprise raid, like, I understand that if it's a raid that's set up, go and use mods, but if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in a game training my guys using mods because we like using the dummy guys, and, you know what I'm talking about, and they join the game and they see those mods, they're gonna like, oh, raid win. Like, so that, that you mean be, an unscheduled raid? You mean a real raid? Yeah. You mean what raids you originally have, were when people were, weren't okay. scared to put their games on, leave their games on open, and just get raided? That's how the game is. We do that like all if, the time. What I'm saying like, is, if, if they join randomly, unexpectedly, uh, uh, and they yeah, that's mods, how raids originally like, started. So, uh, so you're saying you're saying if we agree to not have mods, then if you're in a training and you're using mods and they join, you don't think you think it would be weird if they were to declare a wave raid because you're using mods? Exactly, because oh, okay. I believe that if they join in on a random game, they they get what they get. You know what I'm saying? But if we yeah. set it up beforehand, then I'll use the regular game type. And no, 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 yeah, I agree with you. If they if they join if they if they like Kurt said that that is a like that's a raid. That's where the word raid comes from. You're you're mm -hmm. surprise attacking. Like you're. You're going after them. That's how raids fucking. That's that. That, that is a raid. Yeah, so they, like, that's then, been how raids then, have been since twenty then, since Halo Three. Yeah, then then all the like the permanent raid rules count. Like if you kick them, like if you kick them, then it's a raid win. Shit like that. But it's any man game. Like when you when you join another clan's game and it's their training and you join in, it's it's on. Like that's a fucking raid. Like whether whether you call it a raid or not. There is no kick in them, there is just being like, oh, let me just continue on with training and kick them. Uh-uh. That's a fucking raid. And, that's and that's what we do, though. Come on, that's bullshit, though, dude. Honestly, that is so much bullshit. Because it's like saying, like, if you forget to, like, if you, not even forget, but you put your game on open and start the game and all your, you start the game with your members and members are expected to join but aren't in there and a uh, clan joins and you're doing your raids and shit, dude. Like, honestly, I'm gonna tell, like, I tell everybody, yo, there's unscripted raids, how VA does it, it's unscripted raids, and scripted raids. Scripted raids are raids that we discussed beforehand, where there's set rules and stuff, when there's unscripted, when you join out of the blue. And freaking, honestly, they're like, VA always has had freaking, if it's unscripted, if you join, then freaking, we have our own, pers we have our own rules, our own rules for whenever we do raids. Freaking, we tell them that we have our own rules, and if you honestly wish to continue being in the game, now you know that these, now that we have our own rules, then so be it. Freaking, if you join the game, be like, oh, well, Sammy says you can't have this, and freaking, you you have this, freaking, you you lose, you freaking, yet you join an unscripted game. No, 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 we're just saying, we're just saying, not if you have something. That's what I'm saying. When I say it's any man's game, if they join in. They have to deal with whatever the fuck you have because they're exactly. interrupting you. Okay, like they, I, I they know that. And that's what, I, uh, okay. what okay. I was getting was freaking like the other day, ODST Turbok or whatever his name is. ODST Turbok? Turbok? Yeah, we joined, like, we joined the game with six. We were doing the training. I was like, yo, Turbok, I'd rather not do this. Please leave the game. We can raid you officially at the time. Like, we can actually leave, set up a raid, and make things more legit and fun. Other than you trying to join our training session where we have modded falcons and we're flying around this, and he's like, oh, "Well, I'm just gonna walk around and expect and, and like see your map and stuff." And I'm telling you, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, I'm like Turbok, I'm not gonna put up with it. You like, honestly, my name is just either please calmly leave the game or freaking like I'm only gonna ask you one last time before you kick because I'm not gonna put up with it. Final leader should have that. Like Slayer Star Wars UK used to tell, uh, used to tell me all the time before he left me. Just because somebody declares war or attacks you does not mean that you have to agree with it. You have the say of whether or not you want to go through it or not. 
and you should not suffer a loss because you choose not to. That's stupid. That's like freaking NASCOM joining the game and freaking V8 doing something. They're like, oh, hashtag NASCOM rate wins and leave. That's so stupid. And you know no, it no, no, because no, no, yeah, it once no, starts no, no, getting no, out of hand. If, if if you if you don't like like if you don't want that, then the whole point is then you just gotta make sure to remember you don't keep your games on open. Like it wow. that's the whole that's the whole that's yeah. the whole point. Like I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, like it's not fair, like I could just be running a legit training and I'm just trying to get training done. If they join my game and I kick them because I'm like, I don't have time for this and they're like, It's raid win Well, I'm not considering okay, it a loss. I'm not considering it a loss, but I'm not going to complain if they consider it a win. That's their that's their record. If they want to consider a win, you know what? Go ahead. But I'm not going to consider it a loss. What if, how about this? How about this? Your guys, say you guys are on customs and you're playing fucking zealot or zealot. Do you just customs or fucking you're doing training competitively? A clan joins your game and they raid you. How would you feel? Uh, See, on, that's the difference. There's, 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 there's a no, huge no, difference. Not. There is no difference. Because it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, there is. Because you're not, okay, first off, 90%, 90% of clan maps are either are on 412. The other 10% are split between other maps. Zealot is definitely not one of them. And they can read but, what their map name is as well for before example, they join. I just use that for an example. If we have a map called Asylum or something, and they join like, oh, Freaking, uh, they're probably on some clan map for uh, asylum or something. They legitimately yeah, get there and it's asylum. Well, that, that, that's not a, that's not even a raid. Like that's not but a raid. But the point is, like, they're going with the intentions of raid, and if they obviously they have their mind set up to continue the raid, and, and we're, we're like, yo, dude, this isn't even a raid. Like, back out, or we're gonna kick you. And they're like, if you kick us, then it's a win. Then technically, in the eyes of the community, it's a win because we kicked them. Reason being, this happened three times in the last freaking like while we were in the community. And I will call you supporting on your own page saying, regardless, St. Gwynius, it's still counted as a raid. And I'm like, dude, that's bullshit. We're just having company. No, you said, yeah, on you said on a clan map, not on a I saw a clan map. Just talking. We're just talking about like if you're on asylum or you're on like maps like that, like that are already like they're bungee made, like stuff like that. That's assumed that it's they they'll know that it's just not a raid. Like yeah, there will be clans okay. like there will be random troll clans out there to do you're that. But like people in the community that have common yeah. sense, God did not spread intelligence evenly really throughout the human no, race. But, but those are entirely off topic here. I think we're off topic here. Sanguineous, no, no, no. like. You're talking about a completely different thing. We're trying to do like actual. No, I'm raids. If not. They I'm talking that about. A raid is you on can't asylum, get like a competitive map, then you they're just stupid, and you just need to ignore them. There's so you many you stupid people in this community. Skip over Sometimes they... you just need to ignore them. Like you're on competitive maps. That's not where raids happen. Raids happen in on training maps. They happen on meeting so, maps, and they happen on like clan raid maps. So, and oh, I'm saying. Okay, 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 okay just, just be fair. Okay, okay Z4. I know. Yeah, Z4, you realize that I've met some clans, like, SOH did this to us once. They, um, invited us to a map that they claimed was a raid map. And it ended up being Sanctuary in an in-progress game. And they tried, they tried to count that as one, and I fucking told Joe to look at Garden. So, we have, it if it, so if it's something like that, do we have the right to kick them? Yeah. Oh my god! Right. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's not a raid, yeah. it's they're interfusing yeah. in a exactly. fun custom have, game or something that you don't exactly. want them to No, yeah, exactly, you have every right to kick them, and it will not be considered okay. a win. Like, they can, they okay, can do I got that. that. that yeah. yeah, no, no, that's, that's what, yeah, that's what we're saying, like, it won't be considered a win, but obviously there are some troll clans out there that will be like, no, it's still a win. Well, like Z4 said, you ignore them. Like, they're stupid. Okay. Like, and that's what we tried doing, and the community was like, BA has taken a loss. That's bullshit. Like, even out. if I put on, even if hey, I... Hey, uh, somebody here, can back take, out because Spartan Nacho is wanting to get in. If I take everybody, out, like, out, if, like, freaking, I start freaking, a game, and it's on a close quarters training map, and freaking, it's literally, the map's called freaking Firebase freaking Troll. And freaking, I'm like, dude, what the hell? It, like, you can't even see that it says Firebase Troll, because it's so long and it's spelled weird. But freaking, like, Firebase TR or something, and they join, and it's some shit like that. And we're like, dude, get out of the game, we're just fucking shitting around, dude. And they're all like, no, no it's a raid. No, but, yes. The game you you don't even, even better, even better, even better. That time when everybody joined my Haven map, my remake of Halo 4, 
And Kurt, everybody was trying to join to get at Marshawk, but because that game was on open and Marshawk was in it, everybody <laughs> tried to raise that. Is that right? It's a custom game. Okay, I use it first off, all right, hold, a, on. hold on. It, it, it was, you said it was a remake of Haven, yet there was definitely some stuff going on in there that wasn't Haven. I, 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 say, I use that map. I use that map as a personal map that I go to to get away from a lot of stuff. I consider it my throne map. I literally put a throne at the end of freaking sanctuary and act and put up there because it makes it feel like I like feeling like freaking the lore of my clan. And Haven is something. The reason why I chose Haven is because when we came to the community, Haven was something that kept me like in check for Halo Four. It reminded me of things about Halo 4. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to forge Haven in the weirdest way. And nonetheless, it's still Haven. We still use it for Haven in the ha uh, freaking gameplay of Haven. But even still, how do you get around that? Get around that? We will always find right. a way to get around the rule. With, with all due respect, I feel like a lot of us have had experiences like you have where a whole bunch of idiots come and come up and, you know, like ruin your day like in custom games, which is really stupid. Like, honestly, you just need to ignore them. Right now, we need to talk about the general, like, public and raid rules. Like, right now, it's kind of focused on you, Sanguinius, and I feel like we need to worry about the whole community, not just, like, personal experiences. Because I can tell you that a lot of us have had experiences like that, and you just need to ignore them. And it's really simple. And right now, I related to, about, to multiple like, people, people in the game. I'm saying that, like my plan, whenever you can just instantly jump into something. You can't ignore things that you're trying to sell things to fix them. If so, hey, freaking man, the world, the, uh, the, uh, if so, freaking Xbox, Xbox One, one and the MPC would be so fucked up. I, man, I hate to get you off, but, but if these guys are wasting your time, or for your members' time, it's an unnecessary thing, it's best you just get off. Fuck. Uh, right. Getting the point, you guys are trying to get around, around the fact of ignoring them. What, like, specify when I need to ignore them? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Other than they're ignoring, on, they're on, annoying me. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sanguinius, but, like, I get what you're trying to say, but what are you trying to tell us that we shouldn't, we shouldn't allow clans to join in on games when that's where raids started? Like, I'm saying that freaking, if it's training, like, if the clan leader honestly, like, if, if one party isn't honestly up for it, whether it's an unscripted raid or not, that party should have the right to tell them, yo, I don't feel like doing this, freaking, we're doing training, please leave. If they refuse to leave, and they should have the right to kick them and not take a law. That's the, but dude, okay, that, that's what I was saying, though. You don't have to take a loss, but if they want to consider it a win, then just let them consider it a win. It doesn't matter. You guys don't have to consider it a loss. Like, if you honestly are told, that's, yeah, that's what we were saying. That. That, I got that. I got that. Yeah, no, no. All right, no, yeah, no. I'm just going to hold okay, my yeah. It also goes okay. along right, with your security of your game. If your security of your game's in a false state, then it's your loss. Yes. Yeah. All right, so, all right. So there we go. That was a long conversation. I realized that was... That was uh, a debatable subject, but we will move on. Alright, um, so like I was saying, I want all of us, since most of us are important clans, like, since most of us, like, are the community, let's talk about this, like, do, does, is there anyone in here who disagrees with us going back to using 2010 raid rules? Like, does anyone okay. disagree with that? Can you, can you, in uh, a way, I kind of disagree. Like, I, I, I want to put my well. distance on this. Like, I feel like I, I agree to an extent. I feel like there should be a, kind of like a category of raid rules. I feel like there should be the bare bone minimum raid rules, which is basically like the no taking, no ending, no leaving. That should be the bare bone rules. That should be, a, that should apply when a clan joins unexpectedly in a training session, a clan meeting, then, a remap, unexpectedly. Gee, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but yeah. then everybody's going to be pussies and try not to get into those raids. Yeah, well, that's why there will be changing, uh, more, multiple categories. And the the other category for raids is, like Divine said, we would add a couple of other things, such as mods and a couple of other things that uh, we, we will add later. But I feel like that should be the second category for more type of scheduled raids uh, that were kind of anticipated by most teams. And I feel like the whole community won't, like, the whole community nowadays won't, like, follow it to the thing. But I feel like if a clan wants to add roles that we don't, we haven't discussed, I feel like it's 
hour to do to discuss it before the raid, which is what I always do. If it's a scheduled raid, I always discuss it with the other clan and make sure that they agree on the rules before and specify it on them, which, like, that's where most of the raid rules should be applied before the games, and we should just talk about general and bare bone rules, like, at this meeting, not, like, to the details of, like, you should have two snipers, or one got, like, none, none of that. I think we should just do, like, the no kicking, no teams, maybe the mod, things like that, like, the general rules. Oh, yeah, that's no, 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 no. No, no, no. But yeah, that's that's what I was that's what I was saying though. That that that, that this is what this is going to be about. The only thing that I mean, I'm, most of us establish raids like when you have people with then like that's that's be a cool. In because you are taking the time to join their team and their training so they can have whatever they want on the map, they can do whatever they want because you're joining on their yeah. team. Yeah, uh, okay, well, that's in my in my that's the difference because we can if we're all like if we're set up on the map and we have like. Uh, I'm just happen to have everybody using snipers, and we have like freaking fusion coils falling in the sky. I'm like everybody snipe. Then oh my god, a team of eight or nine joins, and we rape their ass with snipers. You're saying that's okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that kind of shit. I love that kind of shit. No, that is yeah, no, that is completely fine. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So that's how he is. All right, so all right, yeah, yeah, NH, what's up? Okay, uh, I, I kind of feel we're getting off topic a little bit on multiple things. Um, we're discussing about raid rules, right? Just in general raid rules, right, and we're talking about going back to the 2010 rules. Um, we can, can Shaky or somebody clarify what the 2010 rules are, and then we could simply all get on the left wall or right okay. wall and then have a yes and yeah, all out warfare. Okay, alright, basic yeah, yeah, 2010 yeah, yeah, rules yeah, are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah, Kurt, I want, yeah, just, just let Kurt, Kurt will tell you. No kicking, no ending the game, no score limits, no time limits, no team-based raids, because team-based raids are autistic new fag monkeys, I don't know shit. Team-based uh, raids, was that? Yeah. Oh, we're red versus blue, where one team spawns inside their base constantly. Oh. Clans do that shit still. still. Can you, can you still have teams in the one area, like one, like a spawn? I find that stupid because then that render, that hinders yeah, spies that completely useless. That would defeat that the would, purpose. Yeah, it would completely render, when I, with my clan, UNSC, we have a Noni, which does all the spooky spy work, and some people like to call it. Um, that would render some of them useless. Like, yeah. and then the another rule would be, if you leave the game, you forfeit the raid, but there is things like, you can have one person leave at a time, so like, if you want to, like, you think somebody screwed up and, you know, oh, well, they yeah. left elite settings on. So, yeah, so when he said, when he says, like, the clan will lose if they leave the game, every single member of that clan has to leave the game. Like, it could just be, it's, he's not saying, like, if one person leaves at the fucking recruit, then that means that that clan loses. He's talking about, like, if the whole clan leaves, then that clan loses. The whole... Yeah. And uh, I also want to put out there that the spawn killing in that category is because I know that if someone joins on my capital map and I know that it's going to be like three or four hours long, my guys are going to try to push them back to spawn, spawn kill the fuck out of them until they leave. Oh yeah, spawn I mean, killing, spawn killing, that's, spawn killing, that's allowed. Like, you can, you, you are able to... Yeah, but that's also, I embrace that. that. All about. No, exactly. That that's that's raise. That's raise right there, dude. Like, if you can get out of spawn kill, take a fucking clan's base and hold it. It takes more like, skill than. About, about, it like, takes more skill than. Here. We're talking just in general. If you can break a fucking spawn kill and still take the enemy's base, you have more skill than fucking pistol. Because you will be hey, held there with every power weapon in the fucking world. <laughs> is, that, is that scripted or non-scripted? Because if it's scripted, then... Either or. Uh, that, that, would, that, would be, no. that would be scripted because, um, like, if, if we set up a raid, 
I'm, I'm gonna declare no spawn kills. But if someone joins in on oh, my game, on. on my time, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna spawn kill the fuck out of them. Just making sure. <laughs> Icon personally doesn't give a flying fuck if you spawn kill us. Yeah. Like, we, because the because only people realize, that will. You have to realize, freaking, you, spawn, uh, you, you just, wanna, you wanna be some form of fair though. Like, you don't want to bring up the, uh, like, younger generation of clans into a community where it's like, okay, just because all these upper echelon clans are good and they can do all this shit, my clan can. not But we have to sit here and take loss after loss and go through all these defeats and make our clan look bad and potentially lose people from it, and just because we're not as good as them? Pretty much basically, uh, I agree with that because I, I have a, I've had a lot of small clans run top of the NH and all up, and they do raids and stuff like that, and they lose, and then pretty much clan, like some steam, and go down to crumble. That's um, the entire point. I do, I do That's what like, I'm saying. You have to be some form of fair. You should care. Yeah, because that hurts the community. When you are destroying clans that are not beginning, that's killing the community. Because if we're not growing, we're falling. And if we're not well, growing, we're falling. Yeah, but if the clan leader can't look at it this way. one raid oh, yeah. loss, then I don't think that clan leader has the determination. No one said no to one, said one raid loss. It's multiple. Like, Alright, like, hold, 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 hold on. Guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. See, look. What you're not getting is, if that one clan disbands, three others may pop up. In other words, it's actually going to help the community because three others just popped up. Okay, and members from those other clans. Majority of the time, majority of the time when a clan falls, okay, we give it time. People we don't all want it clans, to die. We all know clans will sprout up. All like the community can never truly die unless the freaking servers magically go off on forever and never come back. The I mean, 26 really die. But I'm saying, I'm saying, but, like, honestly, if we cause a clan leader or a clan to disband and freaking it with the Halo clan community, they can do a certain rate because they kept getting to freaking defeat other kind of didn't meet the expectation of skills to take the beast that everybody here assumes or probably think they can freaking go through. And I don't want to give them a matter of time before clans in this freaking meeting right here start calling me up on the shit that they don't think that they agreed upon. Freaking, it, it only takes to have you to get a whole different understanding of it. Are you bringing up this argument? Are you bringing up this argument like talking about spawn killing, like skill having to do with spawn killing? No, I'm saying that we, you guys are saying like, oh man, spawn killing and stuff like that. Kurt's all freaking happy about spawn killing and for us to the raid. I'm just saying, if we're gonna make rules, then let's think, let's think about Right now, we're thinking about all of us. We're thinking about the upper echelon of the community, those who could potentially be powers. What about the newer generation? Because the newer generation is what's gonna make the freaking clan community what it is. But it's, but it's us. It's the upper echelon. It, it's it's us. Like it's the 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 top clan that makes them want to do what they do. If we exactly. have a certain way that we, if we but have a certain like way that, said. no, 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 I know, no, no. But if 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 we have a certain way that we do things and they're bold enough, all right. So how you're talking about don't destroy small clans? If there's a small clan with a piece of shit leader that wants to talk shit to me, I'm gonna take him out. Because if he's not smart enough to know uh, my clan and know, <laughs> okay, he's not, that's he's, different. That's not, not what we're smart talking enough. about. No, 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 no. But you're talking about skill and talking about small. It, 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 it's just, it's a, it's one of those bare bone rules. It's one of those bare bone rules that we all assume. If, if you want, if they have a base, if I have a base that I took the time to forge, to, to keep, if we're talking about raid rules, if they were to come into my game, even when I, like, when we can spawn kill them, take my base, then I'm, I can't, if we're throwing it back, then I can't use that base until we raid them on that base and take it back. Yeah, that's exactly how I play it too. Okay, freaking, okay, I understand that form of, uh, of, of these mics. VA plays in that way, VA plays in a form of that way as well. But freaking, NH, uh, freaking also added in on, freaking, for example, Elysium, they, uh, we, they're under the wings of VA right now. They're a clan that we've freaking mentored and are trying to help bring up. Uh, they're not as large as VA, and freaking, no offense, Lithium, but as you quoted yourself, your skill isn't at VA's level yet. 
with freaking, if Lithium decided, freaking, yo, you guys, we're gonna stay strong and be a clan leader and keep in clans like this and keep staying in this freaking community that's so rough. And members was like, dude, I'm tired, of this clan's so shit, I'm tired of getting shit on by all these upper echelon clans. And then one by one, members started leaving because of these rules and their skill levels not meeting the expectation of these raid rules and everybody else in here that thinks that they can go through it, freaking that's bullshit. I mean, we should cut them some form of slack. No, but you're but you're arguing about something. So you're saying none of us. So you're saying are you are, are you saying that none of us can be powers and that we can't make other clans like fear us? Like is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying if we can, we're going to establish raid rules for the community. Then we need to think of the community as a whole. But but having, know, wasn't it back in but, the day but that having, the powers but, influenced the rules? Yeah, like, it was. I don't remember okay. like some random ass ODST clan saying, "Hey, look, why don't we fucking put it where you can only have one sniper per map?" I'm, I swear to God, that was like Navcom. Like, yeah, yeah no, it was wasn't Navcom that started that. That was actually uh, Seven Fleet. I tried that well, one, and uh, Seven that. Fleet. Nobody listened to Seven Fleet anymore. Anyway, so, like, I remember, um. It was like late October or something like that. It's on YouTube actually. Me, the Vine, Drake, and like 20, uh, not 20, uh, fucking uh, four other people. We went to a game with Navcom and they're spawn kills with Spartan lasers. And we <laughs> and, like, we took over the base. Like, we took it over okay. because literally it was just a simple waiting game. Like, how I personally believe it should, like, how I think it should work is if it's already a pre established raid, like you guys are talking about it, blah, blah, blah. Then you guys should both, um, like, what is it? Ah, I forgot the word. But basically, you guys should make figure out the rules for yourselves of that raid. But if it's like a uh, a raid where it's a surprise attack, then we should use just the basic rules of you're allowed to spawn to kill, no booting, no kicking. Yeah, do what, what it know, takes to get the enemy. Do what it takes to get the enemy out of your game. Yeah, 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 that's, that, yeah, that's, that's what, that. but, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With the spawn, the spawn kill, the spawn kill thing. I'm talking about like it. Obviously, that can be a pre-established raid rule. We can, we can. When I and when I say pre-established, meaning you and the other leader talk, and you have to agree on it. That that is fine. I don't. I I, I don't care. Like I think that'll be. That's actually very organized. That just makes it better. Like you said, that's it, that's helping the smaller clans. Like if they they're like, no, I don't want to spawn kill. I just don't think it's fair. Then that's fine. But like like what Savage said, if you join in on my game. My training. Great, I got that. And I got that. I'm just saying, like, like before, freaking, I'm not arguing against what you guys are saying. I'm just trying to expand your mind and have you think of the community as a whole, as what leaders of the community should do. What the basic thing is, there's two sets of rules. There's two sets of rules. There's rules that you make in general together before a raid happens, like a scheduled raid. Pretty much basically anything that you, anything that you, clan leaders can agree on goes. And then there is, uh, in general, raid rules to where if someone joins on your map randomly, boom, we go by these set rules. I mean, the in general rules are kind of the only rules that my clan will ever play by, so. Yeah. <laughs> and that's I, like, I totally agree to the, um, no kicking and all the other stuff like that. Like, to me, okay. it's those basic Perfect. rules and then anything else you goes. Okay, so, 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 wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, I, I wanted, this has been a very long meeting, and I end this, and we are kind of going nowhere with this. Okay, so the rules that Kurt said, Kurt said, besides, we already talked about the mods, so if you join in on a, like, join in on a training, join in on a client's training or something like that, and they have mods, they can do whatever they want, but in a pre-established raid, uh, honestly, even in a pre-established raid, I, that's not okay. So, in a, it's a, it, that's not okay in any way. No mods, not in, not at, at all. Um, well, the, the, well, for the training thing, it should it be allowed because it's. But, training you know, no, that's what I just said. That's what I just, that's what I just said. Okay, because you said no for a bowl. You know, for a bowl. No, 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 I, no, I just said for training, it's not allowed. I mean, for training it is allowed, but for pre-established, that should not be allowed at all. Yeah. That's okay. Not okay. Okay, and for spawn killing, that should just be a pre-established raid rule. That shouldn't be a permanent one. If we, if, like, obviously, like, if I'm raiding Kurt's clan, I'm just gonna be like, yo, look, go all out, 2010, spawn kill is allowed, I don't care, <laughs> it's fine. And then that's fine. Is it weird that you just lie? I, I, 
Hold on, I'll unplug my mic, hold on. Yo, Devon, you're lagging. Yeah, he mic. just unplugged his mic. Alright, you there? Kirk, shut up, kid. You're mad. Yo, you're so angry. <laughs> okay, alright, so, from all that, can everyone agree on everything? We all agree that Sinkwinius likes to argue a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, can you I like that you like to argue a lot? Oh, hold on, let me call your girlfriend, DJ, too, and tell her, uh, You can call Ruth, okay, 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 okay. okay. this is a mind, right, never. Alright, guys, so is that okay? Does everyone agree on those rules? Will all of our clans do that? Will all of our clans follow those rules? Yeah, I've always followed like those rules. <laughs> Alright, Chris, well, I demand a rate when I come out of this. Sweet. You gotta wait, cause I got shit I gotta fucking do. A few people on the plane that I gotta talk to. Well, there's no one, there's no, <laughs> alright, listen, 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 guys, guys, guys. Alright, so there's no one to object to this, so that's, those are the rules that we'll go, that's the rules that we'll go by. All of our plans will go it? by, and we will, we well, will finally... Just, I'm just, everybody here who has media, I'm just, everybody here who has the media, freaking, yo, uh, executive, but everybody here who has the media, you should freaking, like, establish, like, they, like, advertise these rules to the community on their media. Yeah, I mean, instead of having one massive channel... Everybody here yeah. should advertise these rules on their so media. If you, yeah, so if you have media and you're popular, you really should advertise the rules that we just agreed on. Because I mean, the, the only... The, I would say the only difference, if I'm correct, the only difference between, between the 2010 raid rules is that spawn kill will be pre-established and that there are no mods allowed in, like, even regular, in, in regular raids. But if you join in on a clan's Whoa, game, wait, 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 I got a quick question, quick question. You, yeah, what's up? Okay, well, what if it's, like, a modded map? Like... Modded map? He's talking about, about, like... No, 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 he's talking about, like, fucking Forge Vault. Like, and Mythic, shit. the Mythic no, 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 mod, yeah, the I'm Mythic game no, no, I'm talking, uh, well, no, I'm talking about, like, no as in, as in mods, I'm talking about just what Kirk was talking about. Like, you jump into a fucking area and you become a forward ball and start killing everyone. Like, that, t those types of mods. Like, I don't mind, mo modded, modded Falcons are, modded Falcons are kind of fucking pushing it. I would say that's OP as fuck, but I don't mind. I don't mind modded I mean, I don't really play. mind, like, if you yeah, want to sit there and spawn, kill me with a modded Falcon, just know also, your Falcon takes less kill, but, less but damage for me to kill. Honest, to be yeah, honest, but also I don't like, mind but also freaking like mods mind. because it, it's only a matter of time before a freaking happens and everything either A resets or you lag out of that Falcon and die. But also like mod, but also like mod, yeah, mod Falcons can be just something like, like, you'll tell them that like, it's just good rating. If you're trying to schedule, obviously you want to ask what they have, like be like, hey, like, just curious, like, what do you guys have? And if they tell you mod Falcons, you're not okay with it. Again, that's a pre-established rate rule. I'm just saying that I don't think that I think we all should agree upon no mods in regular raids. Like, modded maps are one thing, like, as in, like, raids, yeah. too much shit, like, humongous castles with fucking a thousand coliseum walls. That's, that's fine, but I'm talking about just, like, those regular mods, so, do we all agree on that? Is that okay? Yeah. Can I, can I do something real quick? What's up? Mm. If, if you guys, if you guys agree with the rules, do it here. If you guys don't agree with the rules, do it here. Alright, feels like gym class. Come on, come on. Alright, if, if you agree with the rules, if you go, if agree with the rules, come to the right side. If you do not, go to the left side. Are we, are we, are we come over here. here. And if you're okay, just stand where you're standing. Okay. Um, I just have a question though. Are we gonna be like trying to enforce these rules on crimes we may be facing? Uh, it would be, you know, it would be... It will. It would be like those would be considered pre-established raid rules. Those are all up to you. But these are bare bone rules that we would follow. That they should assume, and you should tell them. That's the whole point of media. Like we need to get the word out. So you're kind of in between, saying, "Wait, come on." Okay. Cool. All right. All right. So he's okay. Okay. Irish. Hello. Are you just? There, like, I, I think he, I think Irish is in UGN. I don't even know what he's in. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, 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 right, so, so there we go. We all know, we all know what we want. We all know how we want to raid. Um, honestly, this is a really, I got to meet all you guys that I've just been talking to over the Facebook and, like, community chats and shit like that. Um, kick is cancerous. What savage. I 
I believe that I should make all the rules for the community. Shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Kill him. Do I have something to say? I have something to say. 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 I feel that we should all freaking agree that Highcom is a gay and that we're the faggot. Oh! It's shaky. Alright, yeah, 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 what's up, man? What's up, man? Yeah, I got you. Here, I'll clear a bunch of space so I can add almost all of you guys. 